So, at this point, how do you feel about your addiction? It's kind of hard for me to say that. I feel like I have spent a lot of money. Do you feel you have an addiction? Mm -hmm. I, I do have an addictive personality, but when I think about a drug addict, I guess I don't think about myself. It's perfectly normal to be on the fence about whether you are or are not an addict. But the first thing we have to get to is for you to begin to accept that you are an addict. Like, I was managing every day, but I knew to manage and get up and do what I needed to do, it, that dope had to be there when I woke up, if that makes sense. You were managing your addiction. I was, yeah, to be able to function. But acceptance of your addiction comes in layers. Starting with first your ability to admit you are the addict. You can't go anywhere until you do. In your case, the cocaine crack, when you got in those hotel rooms, one day went to another day. I mean, yes, pretty much. I mean, oh, we would go on like binges, if that makes sense. Like, it may be a binge for like a couple days, and then take a break for a little bit. We would take a break for like three or four days, and then I took a break for like three weeks, and then I took a break for another week. You know what I mean? Was it taking Absolutely. up more of your time? Oh, yeah. yeah. What were you going to say before that? Like, my kidneys and my liver has kind of been affected. Mm -hmm. You're taking care of yourself has certainly been affected. Well, yeah, but I mean, let's say this ain't broke because of coke, crack, cocaine. It's broke because I eat too much damn ice. <laughs> but again, your willingness to take aside the money that it would have took to fix it, as opposed to buying the crack, you decided, nah, I'd rather have the crack than fix my tooth. Yeah, I'm pretty much. Home. How was home looking? Was home in disarray? Was home mm, looking? Yeah, for the best part, yeah. I mean, but like I said, it wasn't like it was a wreck. People in recovery have to gain the trust of their loved ones. What are you talking about, like the family relations, yeah. issues with Gino, tension? Yeah, I mean, that was that was the main thing. That was honestly the main reason why I went back to use it. You're damn stupid. You don't know what the going on. You're damn so delirious and confused. I didn't say Except until when I started No, I did not. Now you know, I didn't if you keep following me, I'm leaving. Bye. I quit for nine months, and I didn't want to deal with what was going on between me and him, and so I thought I would, and it kind of like the feelings I was having. It just using the cocaine just kind of blew that feeling up. Like it made it worse. You, you smoked it, hope, with the intent to forget it, make it feel better. And but what really actually awesome. happened was you became what they saw, which was mm -hmm. erratic, out of control, maybe more aggressive which is an effect from the substance. Mm -hmm. The substance has now become the priority over every person and everything and every object in the world that we care about. And right now, that's very much what you're saying. It has mm -hmm. now become top dog. So I'm gonna ask you again, are you an addict?